You don't know what to record your videos about. My name is Elena Brykina, I am a mindset coach for content creators. And here are my 5 tips on how to find ideas for your content within minutes after watching this video. Tip number 1 is to ask your audience what are they interested in and what they have questions about. If you don't have any audience or it is not that active as you would like them to be, go ahead and watch what your competitors do. I'd better say not competitors but bloggers with the same topic. Anyway, go ahead and record your content about this very topic and include your personal experience so people will gravitate towards your energy. Tip number two. When you think about your audience, think about yourself three years ago. Who were you three years ago? What questions, what struggles did you have back then? Maybe you even have journals, diaries or calendars to come back and see what were your schedule look like? What were your main pains, main struggles, main questions back then? Or you can watch people who are about three years younger than you and on the same path as you are right now. What are their main struggles right now? You can, by the way, go ahead and ask them. Maybe that's your niece, sisters, brothers, nephews, or just friends who are a bit younger than you and on the same path have kind of the same questions that you had back then. When you record your videos, make sure that you imagine that you talk with that person, with your younger self, and try to show all your love, your support, trying to transmit that energy to them, because your audience can feel that, can feel that energy that you want to give to your camera, but you know that that's not just for the camera, right? Tip number three, talk about the most common questions in your industry. Answer them based on your personal experience. Make sure that you include stories from your personal life or business life, how you overcome such struggles or learn some crucial lessons during your business or private life. Tip number four, make sure that you cover a specific problem of your audience. Don't give yourself freedom to go ahead there and talk about several different problems in one video. No, make sure that you address from several different perspectives this very one problem. Because our attention span is so, so short right now, people want to understand what they need to focus on. We also tend to gravitate more with what resonates to us, to our problems the most. For example, I know that my audience have this problem that I don't know what to record the videos about and that is why they stop recording, they don't do that at all. The main problem for them is that they stop doing anything because of their thoughts. So in this very video I tell you how to overcome that struggle from a technical perspective. In my next video I will talk about how to overcome this challenge in your head from the mindset coaching perspective. That is how I address one specific problem of my audience. Once you do that, try to understand what are actionable steps for your audience to solve that problem. Yes, there are some tips and tricks about how to work with your mindset, but at the same time, make sure that you have actionable steps for them so they will know after this video, I need to do one, two, three in order to succeed, in order to overcome that struggle that I have in my life. And if they forget anything, they can come back all the time to this very video, open up these actionable steps and recall for themselves what is the next step for them. Tip number five is my most favorite. Every time during your life you have insights, revelations, make sure to stop yourself and write this down. Create notes in your iPhone, notebook specific for so many different ideas. So you want to make sure that you have that flow, you have that understanding that, okay, right now I have that big, big insight or big, big flow of emotions. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. For me, I know that I need to make sure that I always have a pen. See, I, I always can grab that. I always have a notebook right now with me so I can write everything down very quickly. So I can track every single thought, every single idea that I have. And at the same time, not only track them, but make sure that you put everything out. So you write everything from your head to the paper, not only to make sure to capture the ideas, but at the same time make sure that you don't overwhelm yourself with thinking about those things again and again. You need to let go. That what helps you and me so so much to make sure that I remove all extra noise from my head and have that quietness in my head which helps me to create this video, to create 
strategy for my company to create so many different things at work and in my life. In 90% of cases, when I ask people what are they interested about, they tell me, I'm interested in what you're doing at work, what is your routines, how do you study, which courses do you take for yourself, or which books do you read. So people interested in our day-to-day -day life because they want to feel that they are part of it. They want to understand you a bit more. You also can talk about what are your main priorities are right now in business and in person life how do you rest how do you recharge your soul brain your body everything that what is interesting by the way if anything of that is interesting to you please let me know in the comments below and sometimes you are gonna just put the camera over there have no scripts but just start talking start talking about what is bothering you what new experience you had or what new lesson you've learned and sometimes those videos can be very hard to edit i hope you have editor by the way but sometimes that can really break that ice between you you and your audience because you're just being yourself and sometimes to that very energy people gravitate even more bonus tip make sure that you hire a team as fast as you can team can help you with brainstorming ideas with grabbing all the operational work for example you can make sure that you just talk out loud your script or your ideas for the video to them in the audio message then they will put this down on the script for you and only then you will go ahead sit in front of the camera and record everything to your audience guess what I'm doing that as well. And don't be guilty, don't be ashamed by doing that because your main responsibility is to make sure that you are the final face to create this content. But they can help you with creating script, with combining ideas, with getting them from your competitors or get them from other books or from any other sources. The main thing is you want to make sure that your personal experience is there as well. I saw so many people delegate the whole writing script process for the team. What happened then? Blogger trust them, recorded that video, but that is just a copy of another video. Or people doesn't gravitate toward that very person because he or she doesn't tell their personal experience. They don't understand them as a person, etc. They don't feel their energy. So I hope that is very clear for you right now what to do. I hope that you have so many different ideas already from this very video on what to create a content about, on what to record your next video about. Thank you so much for watching this very video till the very end. I'm by the way very curious of what you think is the best way for you to find ideas for your content. Let me know in the comments below, please. And if you feel emptiness, sadness, dissatisfaction right after uploading your videos or even several days after uploading your videos, please watch this very video because here I explained what to do from the psychological perspective in order to make sure that you will feel gratitude, joy and happiness each time after you recording and publishing your videos. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy!